Happy Super Bowl Sunday, guys. Chiefs, Bucks, who you got? Let me know in the comments below. I'm a huge Tom Brady fan, so I've got to say I'll be going for Tampa. Six points is my margin. It's going to be on at 10 a.m. for us over here in a Monday, but I will be tuning in because I absolutely love the Super Bowl. You know what I also love? I also love that you can buy this New England Patriots cap in my eBay store for just $49. And <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't believe I went there. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing really well out there. It was a very big week for me this week. Fortunately, I've been able to hit 50 sold sales items for the very first time in a one week period. I'm gonna be touching on a little bit later in the episode as to what small change I made that I was able to hit that 50 sales in a week for the very first time. I'm also gonna highlight a featured reseller of the week out in the community doing some really great things. And I wanna give you nine of my very best sold sales items from this week. So we have got a lot to talk about. I hope you're ready for it. I hope you're excited. I can't wait to dive into today's episode. We're gonna kick things off with a piece of furniture that I was able to flip on Facebook Marketplace for a few dollars. So the first item up, guys, is this entertainment unit that I picked up off Facebook Marketplace on Tuesday, I think it was, just a few days ago. I was just scrolling through Facebook Marketplace of an evening, as I always do, and I managed to spy this ad, which was actually a really poorly worded advertisement. There was only one photo to go off, but what I could see was that it was solid wood, it was white, which goes well in my area, and they were only offering $80 for it. Now, I've negotiated them down to $50, which is what I like to buy my furniture items for, and uh, I went and picked this one up, and I was actually really surprised that it was in such good condition. So I've just put a bit of sugar soap on it when I got back home and I've relisted it. And in the space of just two days, this has gone on to sell for $250. So I've made a $200 profit here in the space of a two-day turnaround. And really all it was was just putting a better listing up onto Facebook Marketplace. And really that it's all it comes down to. If you're buying the right item and then you can list it correctly, you're going to get top dollar for it. And I really do think top dollar was around the $250 mark for this item. Um, so to make a $200 profit is just a great way to kick things off to start this episode. But it was my only furniture item of the week. So I was also really happy to get it done in that regard. Next item up, guys, is this Richmond Tigers Dream Time at the G AFL jersey. Now, this one was a cool find in the thrift for me as a footy fan. Um, I paid just $4 for it, and I have sold some of these in the past for over $100. So I knew that I was going to get some top-end money for it. I've gone on eBay with 100 bucks and I've ended up taking an offer for $80. So this was a really good one. I knew that I was going to go top end. They only play in this jersey once a year, and you take out the fees and you take out the postage. I've been able to profit $58.39. It did take 63 days to sell, and I do think that was a result of the fact that obviously it was post the football season. I bought it in December. It's taken a couple of months to sell, but um, obviously the footy season is now not too far away, hence the reason why this has obviously picked up a bit more interest. So look, 80 bucks. it was extra large. It was in like new condition. There was all the good signs to tell me that I was going to get top dollar. So I guess I can't be too disappointed with a $58 profit. Next item up are these Stussy Casual Men's Shorts that I picked up in a recent trip to the thrift episode, actually just last Thursday. This was only a two-day turnaround. It was really because of the brand is the reason why it sold. 34-inch waist obviously helped things as well. But look, a plain pair of shorts that has gone on to resell in use condition for $34.97. Now I bought this for $4. Take out the fees, you take out the post. I've profited $19.22 on a two day turnaround item. I think if you can make 20 bucks in profit on a pair of shorts purchased out of the thrift store, you're doing a very, very good job. And I was really happy to see this fall for around the $20 mark. It's certainly not the profit that I get for all the pairs of shorts that I sell. So I do take notice when I get an item that does go for $20 in profit in the shorts category. And I definitely think the reason why I got that was because of the stuff brand. So definitely a brand name to look out for. It goes on to sell pretty well. Happy to get a $20 odd profit uh, within the space of just two days on this one. Now this next one, I think anything Ninja Turtles goes on to sell pretty well on eBay. I've been able to find this Ninja Turtles plush toy, 45 centimeters, um, very basic plush toy, not overly big or anything like that. But um, I bought him for $3 in a local op shop. I was actually pretty surprised with the sales result on this one. He's gone on to sell for $33.92. And uh, the profit on this guy has been $19.32. So this one sold in the space of 49 days. It sold for a $24 odd cost plus the postage charge on top. Um, I thought I was probably only gonna get the $24.95, but in the end, the buyer paid postage as well, took the full price, and I've made almost 20 bucks on a plush toy. So there's a real arbitrage out there with the op shops when you are buying your plush toys, if you can find the right ones. And I think the Ninja Turtles are certainly one that you can always rely on when you're buying the plush toys. 
Now you guys know how much I love my footy boots or my cleats for those over there in the States. I know that footy boots sounds a bit funny, uh, but that's what we call them here in Australia. But I'm gonna sell these Menace uh, Asics uh, footy boots. Now, these are a good one. Uh, I knew they would go on to sell well. I've paid just $4 for them in the local op shop and they have sold for $49.97. I've profited exactly what I like to profit on a pair of shoes. $32.18 and a really quick turnaround here, just the 27 days. So sold with under a month, uh, $32 profit in my pocket. And I do talk about this quite a bit. Obviously we are heading into the footy season right now. So if you've got any footy boots lying around or if you're seeing them out in the op shops, get them onto eBay now because this is where people are starting to buy. We're only a month or two away from the footy season kicking off. So um, I'm starting to see a lot of footy boots sell and I was really happy to see a $49.97 sale for these ones. Now I bought this uh, set of books uh, not too long ago now. It was the Dork Diaries uh, set. So I think there were 12 books in this set, maybe 10, can't remember, uh, but it was a complete set, which is always a good thing when you're buying books. And I put this one up for $49.97 as well, but I actually accidentally left the $15.35 postage charge on the listing. I meant to take it off and just make it $49.97, but within the space of 15 days, somebody's actually purchased this for full price and paid postage. So this one's actually sold for $65 and 32 cents. I've paid $10 for it uh, in a recent trip to the thrift episode. I think it was about two weeks ago now. Well, it was, it was 15 days ago. And uh, the fees were $8.49. I've profited $41.83 on this book series. So look, there is a lot of money in books out there. If you can be finding the right ones and you've been getting the complete series like this one, uh, $41 for a set of books is pretty crazy to me. And uh, I was really happy to see this one done. Sticking with the category of books, I've also been able to sell this Chronicles of Narnia hardcovered in its case, uh, book for $49.97. So a really good turnaround when I bought it for just $5 in a recent trip to the thrift episode. Uh, this was this was always going to sell well because the Chronicles of Narnia comps very well on eBay. It was a turnaround of just six days, so it has moved in a pretty quick space of time. I've been able to profit $28.67 for this book. So just like the book before, these ones go on to sell for some good money. If you can find the right ones, if you can do your right comp researching while you're in the thrift, uh, you're pretty much guaranteeing yourself some form of profit. And um, hopefully those last two examples here have proved that there is some good money to be made in the book category. Now, I've had a bit of a mare here on this next one. I bought this uh, Looney Tunes 80 Years of Bugs Bunny plush toy. It was in its box. It had its authenticity slip. There was everything telling me that this one was going to go on to sell for a pretty top dollar. There was a Bugs Bunny version that went on to sell in an auction for 100 bucks. Actually, this was a retail arbitrage purchase. It was in a local Australia post on clearance for $20. So I have picked it up on the basis that I knew that it one sold on auction for 100 and I just thought, let's just give it a go. In the end, I've taken an offer without actually looking into the scenario of what it would leave for me on a profit. And um, I've taken the offer of 49.97, I think it was. So it was basically the 50 bucks. Um, I think I've got the rest of them. I've bought four of these all up and they're all sitting at about $90 on eBay, which for me to make some money, it need, they need to sell for $90. So I, I shouldn't really be taking any offers. Um, so anyway, the, the postage on this one was $29.50. It did go to South Australia. Uh, the fees as well had to come out. So in the end, I've taken a loss of $6 on this item. Um, from the whole process, buying it to shipping it out correctly, I've ended up losing $6. So look, it doesn't happen too often. Um, I really do think there's a quick lesson learned there, something I already know to always check when you do get an offer come in, just to make sure that it is obviously going to still leave some money in your pocket. But um, on this occasion, not to be, I've lost six bucks, but I've learned a lesson. Now, I really want to give an update for those playing at home on my bulk DVD purchase. I bought eight brand new sealed DVDs in the thrift store a couple of weeks ago, and I've paid 70 cents on average each. There were 88 brand new DVDs. I paid $60 for them. She gave me a ridiculous offer. And the update is I've now total sold 13 of those DVDs within the space of about a week and a half, maybe two weeks. 13 have gone on to sell. This week, my update is that I've been able to sell nine items. Uh, so my cost of those nine items at 70 cents each was $6.30. They've gone on to sell for $118.41. The postage charge is $4.50 each. So that works out to $38.70. Uh, the fees were $15.39 on that charge. And I've profited this week on nine DVDs, 
$58. So January 27 is when I bought the 88 DVDs in the thrift and uh, I've still obviously got a good 75 DVDs to sell um, and I'm already up quite a few dollars here. So just sort of provide that as a bit of an update. I'm going to do it every week until I've sold all 88 of them. But um, to get nine of them sell this week was really cool and uh, to make $58 this week out of those DVDs was even better. So they were my nine best sold sales items of the week, guys. Hopefully, you got a bit of a kick out of those. Uh, before I jump into the overall sales numbers for me this week, I do want to highlight a featured reseller of the week that's doing some really good things out in the community. Not only is he doing great things, he's also got an awesome YouTube channel that I wanted to highlight as well. Uh, it's Steve this week, and he, he goes by Resale Dojo on uh, Instagram, on Facebook. I'll put all, all of his links in the description below, but he's a bit of a guru when it comes to DVD selling. Um, goes on to sell quite a few of them but he sent me through one of his very best and i'll pull it up here for you to have a look at it was the godzilla vs biolante 2012 out of print uh blu-ray disc now there's no wonder uh with an out of print that he's been able to get top dollar but he's made 172 dollars basically on this one because he only bought it for two dollars at a local goodwill um, just incredible numbers there. Didn't actually think a DVD would go on to sell for 175 bucks. So that's really opened my eyes to what is possible out there in the thrift. Um, but awesome YouTube channel. Go and check him out. Give him a subscribe. Give him a follow on his Instagram page as well. I think he's a little over 500 subs on his YouTube channel and his videos are getting better by the day. So awesome reseller. I wanted to highlight him in this week's episode. Well done, Steve. Keep charging hard. Keep selling those DVDs because you're doing a very good, good job with it. All right, time to check the weekly numbers for the week. Let's pull up the table and I'll give you a look at how this week has gone for me. Uh, we're looking at the 1st of Feb to the 7th of Feb here, and I've been able to sell a record of 54 items sold. So I think my previous best was 49 from memory. So for the first time ever, I've been able to crack the 50 items sold in the space of a week. And we've still got a few hours to go on this Sunday afternoon. So I'm hoping we can increase that potentially even up towards 60, which would be awesome. Uh, cost of goods, $260. $3.40, which is actually quite low. Normally, it would be around the $400 mark, but um, there has been some really cheap thrifted items that have gone on to sell this week. And um, total sales was $1,383.85. So the profit has actually been quite strong because of the fact that the item's cost of goods was so low. I've been able to profit $1,120 this week uh, with a really strong profit margin of 81%. So look, a lot of it this week, has really come down to the fact that I've taken a lot of offers on eBay. For the first time, anything that's sort of come in that's kind of half okay, I've just been accepting. And that's the reason why my numbers have boosted up on a sales front. Normally, if it was something that was $35 listed and someone offered me $25, I'd say, God, no way. But I do look at it like, hold on, I've actually bought this item for $2. So $25 on a sale price, it's actually not too bad. So this week, I've just started to accept those. And I've really seen my numbers obviously increase as a result of that, um, but I'm still getting a really good profit. I've, I've been accepting offers and I've got an 81% profit margin because I've been buying those items so cheap in the thrift. And it really comes down to what my main focus is as well. And that is trying to get the lowest possible cost of goods that you can out there. Whatever you can do to lower the price, uh, whether it be in the thrift stores, buying on Facebook Marketplace, wholesale, whatever the case may be, if you can lower your cost of, of, um, cost of goods on, on the items that you buy, that will have a huge effect on the profit that you can go on to make. So for me to only have $263 from a cost of goods, I've been able to sell it for an 81% margin. I've still been able to hit the sort of figure that I like to hit of $1,100 in profit from a weekly basis perspective. So um, learned a little bit there. I think I'm gonna to start to take a few more offers from now on. Um, I'll still price as I would normally want them to sell for, but um, I will be taking a few more offers and hopefully that helps uh, increase the sales and puts a few more dollars in my pocket because I just want the capital to be able to reinvest and just buy more items and keep turning stock over. So um, this is gonna be a really good way of going about that. So this week, that's really been the only thing that I've done differently. I've still listed 15 items every single day. I had a couple of days in there that were 15 and 16 uh, sale item days. So some really big days in there, but um, no different. Just listing 15 items, buying the same sort of items and uh, trying to source upwards of 400 items a week is, is sort of, uh, sorry, 400 items a month is my goal. So 
Um, that's a little bit of a recap of the snapshot of this week and um, hope you've enjoyed it. Um, hope you've got a bit of a kick out of it. Hope your week has gone well yourself. Let me know your best sold sales item. I'll pick one out in the comments and uh, make you a featured reseller of the week. Um, but until next time, guys, until Tuesday's episode, enjoy the Super Bowl and uh, I'll see you next week.